You're listening to Jonesy's Jukebox on KLOS. That was the Heavy Metal Kids, Hanging On. And before that was Bebop Deluxe, Axe Victim. And my guest is with me, Moon Zappa. Woohoo! Yeehaw! <laughs> How are you? I'm well because I'm sitting next to you, and it's so much fun to see you. I haven't seen you in a while, and uh, I, I, you always put me in a good mood. I don't know why I find you to be quite uh, a, a mood elevator. You could hire me just to hang out at your house. That is a great want. idea. I'm going to get you, and I'm going to get a photo booth and just take a bunch of cheerful photos in that thing, with or without you. Yeah. And then in between, you're going to just talk philosophy. Some stuff. Yeah. Junk. <laughs> What's going on with you? you got a podcast, right? It's a very secret uh, podcast that we haven't launched oh, it secret. yet. secret. No, it's 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 we can we can talk about it now. I'm working with uh, Rain Phoenix, and uh, we're we haven't launched it yet, but it's a uh, it's a it's a music based podcast that I I, I think people will will enjoy because uh, music appreciation is is uh, one of my passions, and hearing how people hear things and what they listen to and why and how it moves them is endlessly fascinating. How are you gonna when, when are you gonna launch it? Then? Probably by the end of summer. We're still putting our our season together if you will uh so uh, currently it's just uh, a lot of white men talking about music we're hoping to get a few other people in there talking about music <laughs> though white men have wonderful things to say about music angry white men <laughs> so far it's a lot of vegans talking about music and, and it's n we don't want to be the all vegan podcast yeah you want me to come on there, yeah right? and you do you eat meat i haven't in a while are you oh. shall i start for the, just well, to I, even I the know. show out are you gluten-free um, I am sometimes. <laughs> I bought a loaf the other day in Ear One. It tasted like cardboard. <laughs> so it wasn't pleasurable. But I think if you get real wheat mm. without without um, junk in it, I, I don't. I, I, for some reason, I'm, I don't get all bloated if it's like pure wheat, not not. That's that's true. That's true. And all the other junk in it. Apparently, if you get the original sourdough starter from Europe, apparently whatever plants they they collected that particular uh, strand of yeast, yeah. they they've they've got a magic formula that actually is uh, quite healing. Yeah, sourdough is actually good for you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think that you talked about sourdough uh, in your twenties or? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was just wondering if we were staying. Especially current. after a late night. After going through about four birds. <laughs> That's what we talk about, yeast. Oh. <laughs> Sourdough. Uh. <laughs> Gluten-free. So wait, did you really, would you have four four chicks in one night? Four ladies in one night? Sometimes. Was that, was that, was that like a slow night? On a bad night. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I just found out that my father was a prolific cheater. I did not realize that. Because I saw a man at home who didn't know how to cook, who was unable to really talk about emotions. So I just assumed that guy went into the world when he was away for nine months. <laughs> oh, he, he was a cheater? I thought maybe he maybe cheated like six six times max. Well, it's, uh, you know, he's a musician, right? Well, apparently th that was lost on me. When How old was you when this was later? Looking back, thinking, oh, that's what he was doing. Well, I, I saw the documentary Eat That Question, uh, and and uh, there was a, a lot of footage I hadn't seen before that was really dedicated to his his passion for uh, the, the 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 extracurricular activities. And um, and I was I was I was honestly I was surprised. I know that sounds dumb when you're the the child of a, a rock star. Everyone else is it's they're like that's that's why you do it. That's why you get into that field. One of the reasons. <laughs> One of them. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. um, but I, I just can't imagine, especially in the 60s, 70s. Right. I mean, everyone was at it. I mean, do you think today people are sleeping with as many people per day as they can sleep with? Or I think there's certain people. I mean, that urge is still there, regardless of what um, what um, 90s, 2000, uh, in the 60s. It's just people still have urges. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Did you ever get married? No. Because? Because of the urges? Why? Why would I want to get married? I, I don't know. Unless you want to have kids. And, and you never did that? No, I've got no desire. Do you, are you sure you have no kids roaming around out there? It's possibly one. <laughs> when I was like uh, 15. Hmm. I know some bird mm -hmm. that had a 
I think she had a kid, but it was it was it's it's uh it's not clear because uh, my mum would tell me different stories every time I asked her. Really? Because I went back to this council flat mm -hmm. in Battersea uh, after a late night of drinking when I was like 15, 14, somewhere in there, uh -huh. and so this girl knew where I lived, and I left home in between it, and I guess. A year later, she went back and, and knocked on the door and spoke to my mum and said she had a kid or she had an abortion or she gave it to someone else. So Those are three very different choices. Different stories right, as well every right. time. It's a different story. So right. so I don't know. I, I don't mind if someone calls me and says, I'm, I'm your, you're my dad. Mm -hmm. I'm up for that. Hmm. Do you think that you might be an AI? I'm a little bit convinced I'm an AI. What's that? Artificial intelligence. Well, why do you think that? Well, I, first of all, my memory is fading, and I, I need to blame it on something. Yeah. That's number one. Have you and seen that documentary? Which one? Oh, what's it called? I just watched it. Uh, is it about AI? Un, un, unacknowledged. No. Well, check that one out. I will. I'm always pushing it. We need to get that bloke on the show, Mr. Shovel. He's oh, a okay. he's a doctor. We need to get him. Well, if he's a doctor, let's get him on. No, he's great. Okay. We should get him on for sure. Um you you got it keeps bleeding texting me. Is it someone that's saying you're I'm you're my father? No. No. It's, no, it's not that. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay. They they wouldn't have my number. <laughs> <laughs> so do you, so um do you, do you have many memories of, of your dad? Did was he was he good to you? He was the greatest. I have um, uh, tremendous memories uh, of time spent with him. Um, uh, yeah, it's you know, it's it's uh, it's interesting getting to be the age he almost was when he when he passed away. He was fifty two when he when he passed away. Yeah, and uh, that's that's two years away from right now. So I just think, my God, at this point he was thinking, oh, there's there's a, there's an end in sight. Some people know that there's an end coming, and and I think that was. And uh, that's, I think that's a weird. I mean, we we all should be aware the end is coming at some point. Yeah. But I think that uh, it it definitely changes how you how you uh, live. It, I mean, it can. Some people they just they're like, oh, that, and then they ignore it and still still keep up their crazy behaviors. How how old was he when he? <coughs> Fifty two. Uh, yeah, he was young. diagnosed at forty eight. Yeah. And what kind of cancer was it? It was prostate cancer. That's a hard one to get rid of, or did he leave it too late? He didn't know. You know, that's unclear. That's yeah. unclear. There's some there's some conflicting pieces of information about that. I do remember that uh, my mother would have a host of healers come in, and I could never understand. Like there was this one lady who was British, and she would burp at him, and the more she burped, the more the cancer was going away. And at, even at 19, I was like, this cannot be. I feel like this is not true. This, I feel like this is a scam. <laughs> right well, now. if it is true, I'll never get cancer. <laughs> I'm safe. <laughs> This, this whole room's safe. They get it two, two, two hours a day. Do you make a special yogurt that you keep under your floorboards? Because my dad that was another one. Drank a lot of that stuff. There was a, there was another lady who who claimed to remove angels and devils that lived in each individual cell. That's some he heavy uh, hippie stuff there. Seriously, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Could I, he have avoided it if he went the Western way? I don't know. I mean, that's the thing is, I, I again, I was, I was, I was still a kid, essentially, and so I, it's like I want to talk to the quote, quote, responsible adults that were around then and be like, what was happening? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he could have, but that that's a uh, prostate is a, it's not the end of the world, cancer, right? You can, I think you can get out of that one. Yeah, but I think I think uh, I have to imagine it took away some sexual function, which could not have been fun for somebody who enjoyed that part of his life so much. So I think that that must have also been a giant uh, letdown. Where but is your, where is your prostate? Huh? Where is your prostate? In your in your tush, right? Is, right. Is I'm looking at I'm looking at you, this bearded like man. What's he, your name? That's Jordan. Why do I think you would know? Because he's in front of you. <laughs> I wouldn't know. That's why I just asked the question. <laughs> uh, isn't that an erogenous zone, too? Are you supposed to poke at it? I know there's some guys who refused to have the finger treatment Yeah. who who died of cancer because they wouldn't let the doctor 
too shy. Do the business, yeah, or or too homophobic. I don't know. Hmm. I'm a little homophobic. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's because I was never worshipped by anyone that was flamboyant. Yeah. I didn't have the right makeup look or so- something. I I didn't. Uh, I, I I always wished I had a, a kind of a wife. I think that'd be nice. I think those are the solid relationships. If you if you marry someone who is gay and then you both cheat on each other, I feel like that's the most functional relationship a person could have these days. I don't know. Hmm. I know some gay guys who are very angry when they find out their boyfriend cheated on them. Really? But they go more ballistic than, than birds do. Hmm. What you got there, Shovel? Well, I hate to interrupt the conversation, but we have to do money on the 20s. It's People are already calling. There's a keyword they have to know. We're going to take caller number 20 right now at 800-955-KLOS. They'll qualify for today's $500 and win a $25 Del Taco gift certificate, and then Gary's going to call out a name at 5.20 p.m. Is the word prostate? Do I win anything? That was yesterday. Oh. You win nothing. <laughs> Let's play some music. Let's play David Bowie. Ooh, good choice. Moon Age Daydream.